Hello, I'm in studio. I'm taking a minute while they get some things situated. I've been doing some recording for a radio program. So this says they're gonna build my audience. I'm waiting to see who logs on. I don't know how long I'm gonna be on, but yeah. Just wanted to say hello. Um, gonna be on 93.5 in New York station. So just doing some live recording, talking about doing some recording on giving business tips, leadership tips, stuff like that. Hello, how are you, Brown, Leon? You could comment. <laughs> and of course, is there anything that you want me to discuss on the tape? I mean, well, not tape, but in the recording, as far as any questions that you may have pertaining to you, my topics are revolve around business and leadership. So anything else, I can't really help you with that. I can't give a relationship advice. That's not my area of expertise, not at all. I could give you um, advice on career, um, school, university, stuff like that. Yeah. So, it's running, <laughs> busy. There's another um, live um, recording that they're doing. So this is extremely busy here. So I had to take a minute. No. I have some tea. Hi, Amy. How are you? Hi, Bio. Wow. So I'm just here, as I was saying, I'm doing a recording, but um, the gentleman is busy, so I decided to come live and say hello. And if there's anything that you want, Henry, is there anything that you want me to talk about? Um, I can do so as far as career, business, leadership, school <laughs> yeah that name sunshine still love it makes me smile ah. <laughs> how are you so i'm gonna turn that you could see where i'm at what's going on yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So i don't know if you could see him is in the other room yeah that's where i'm at right now and I'm doing this, um, of course, in any business that you have, you have to promote, you have to get out there. And that's what I'm doing. I'm getting out my comfort zone because this opportunity has been available to me for some time now. And I've just been like, oh, but when uh, people need to know you and know what you do and you got to make that money, guess what? You step out your comfort zone and you do what you have to do. Yeah. So. Um, some of the recordings that I talked about earlier, I talked about my mentor that passed away some time back. Um, one of my mentors, um, her name was Estella Rivera. And she always said that I should learn how to sell myself. What a word, yeah? But I continuously use that word whenever I'm talking. Like, you need to sell yourself. What does, what does that mean? Um, basically, students not creating a proper essay you know, a bio um, individuals who don't put things that they really do on their resume it's just so limited and that per other person they get passed over for that other person uh, you're a great singer but you don't go out there for people to hear your voice you're shy it's not gonna work um, oh, Miss Brown, Miss Brown, mm -hmm. you know, you're out there, you have your clothing line, you know, you're creating things, but, you know, nobody knows what you're doing because you're not out there. And this is a great medium to talk about what you do, what you love to do, you know, as far as Facebook Live put it out there if if you're trying to sell yourself and that's what I'm doing right now another thing that I spoke about just going back through my topics because I'm lit out of it right now but 
uh, I spoke about a little bit about my experience in uh, Saudi in a class that I had where there's two different ways to look at a situation and I remember one of the students asked um, in the class Dr. Neva what do you think about woman driving and before I jumped in and just answer that question I I reversed the question because you know in Saudi got to be careful you don't want anyone to feel like you're putting your ideas on them and I revert the question and I said what do you or how do you feel about woman driving and she said very beautiful young lady by the way she had four kids but she looked amazing and she said well I don't want to drive because I want to feel like a princess well think about that for a second she does not want to drive because she wants to feel like a princess <laughs> and another student jumped up now I call this other student my my bad girl you know putting it nicely she was a type that she had her hair cut colored and she was just, just but she was very smart and she you could feel that she wanted to be successful and that's what I loved about her forget how she was dressed her dress code was to another moon but she had a passion to learn and she jumped in and she said well I want to drive because I want to feel like a princess and I went whoa <laughs> you know two different perspectives from these Saudi girls so anyway what I, the story the moral behind the story is there are two different ways to always look at a situation just don't look at just one way kind of like the saying the glass being half full or half empty how do you look at a situation yeah another topic that I covered now the the taping that I'm doing is very short it's between three to four minutes each segment and it's just gonna be aired before a program so kinda like me giving advice to individuals around the New York metropolitan area and I mentioned a topic on basically let me just double check my because I spoke a lot <laughs> so um, yeah my mom always say to me and this is an advice I'm following right now you cannot you cannot give birth to a child and have another per, um, person nourish it think about it for a second a lot of us have great ideas but we just get the ideas and think it's just going to operate by putting other people to work it. Not going to happen. And I've made that mistake. And I'm not ashamed to say I made that mistake. And I've learned and still learning from my mistake. It doesn't work like that. Like, you know, you have to be there. Watch it. Make sure it works similar to your kids you know you can't put your child I, no I don't have any um, I don't have any children but you can't just have your child and expect the child or your children to have these morals that you do when you're hardly around you're not doing what you're supposed to do to make sure that they follow the rules and they're doing what they're supposed to do similar to a business similar if you're in school you can't expect good results if you don't put the work in and that good work you gotta sacrifice you have to sacrifice and things don't happen overnight do you know how long it takes to have a successful business many entrepreneurs start and in a second they drop like they can't hold on because they did not prepare well enough you know someone said to me the other day um, she wants to start a, a business but she has no money 
good luck. Good luck with that, my friend, because are there people who started with limited amount of funds? Yeah, of course. But you still need a backup plan. Now, if you're working full time and then you're doing that, then yeah, that's not a problem. But if you ain't got no job and you ain't got no money, you're setting yourself up unless a miracle happens. You said no one will give you the nourishing you like. It's your baby. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Hi, Dr. Hanadi. Oh, my God. How are you? Nice of you to join me. You're going to hear, well, I don't know how long I'm going to be on right now. Another Julie Henry. Margaret, that's how I know you. <laughs> how are you? So, you know, in order for us to be successful, we have to put in the time. And I'm just going to reflect a second on entrepreneurship. Before I became an entrepreneur, I thought it was easy. Why? Because I know people have been entrepreneur and they just, you know, you have the funds, you have the idea, you're brilliant, so it, it's got to work. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Love you too, Anadi. Dr. Anadi. <laughs> got to get it right for the camera. <laughs> but we have to put in the time, the work. In anything you do, a new business, you have to be there. Make sure everything is running right. Make sure you don't hire someone who's going to steal. I've had that experience. I brought someone into the business and thought to myself, oh, you know, she's smart and she has things going for her, except that she was registering students and taking the money. So students come to me and say, oh, we paid. And I have no record. And that also happened because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do and supervise and watch. So I'm sharing my experience in life so that others out there will not, hopefully not make the same mistakes. So we're going to make mistakes. It's natural. We're going to make mistakes. Anyway, I have to go back recording. Let's see. Yeah, he's ready for me. But thank you so much for signing on. And what I'm really working on is putting myself out there, as I said before, that people can see that, um, understand and learn. One, two, um, hopefully I'm offering training sessions. So um, having a few events coming up, if you feel free to visit my website. I'm always putting my website out there. I think I do which is Neve Alliance, N -E -V Alliance com. So I have events there. I have in January, if you're in New York, of course, I have a training, a uh, network breakfast, sorry, in January 23rd. And February, I have a workshop, an eight-day workshop. And um, sorry, that's 10 days workshop in New York City. And it's revolving around leadership and corporate governance. And in March, I have International Women's Day. Yeah, that would be great. So if you can join, feel free to come on out. If you can, much success and love. So proud of you. Thank you, hon. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate people who realize that... Um, I work hard and I'm really trying. And one day that, you know, I could reflect back on and said, yeah, I did it. But I have So thank you. My hair is not 100%, as I said. I, I, but I decided to come alive anyway because, you know, you know me. <laughs> so you take care, everyone. <laughs> Thanks. And bye. You ready for me now? Yeah. Sorry for the lady there. Okay. So bye. that, um... Successfully, so we're, that's all in, in place. And if you're all set, okay. just let me know when you're ready, and we can 